Hello everyone, this is Nobada Lust. I see a lot of new players joining our game and seeking for a guide. So, I have decided to make a simple guide for you guys. Before we begin, the first thing you need to learn about this game is to understand about your own character. In this game, we have three types of character. Synergy, Buffer, and Pure DPS. Synergy class gives 34% damage buff to your party member. Buffer pretty much gives stats and defense buff to your party members. And Pure DPS simply does damage. And these characters are either fixed or percentage damage class. So, fixed damage class needs to refine their weapon and percentage damage class needs to reinforce the weapon. To refine weapon, you need to farm item called Powerful Energy, which can be obtained in weekly special dungeon or from a place called Blue Dragon Tournament and Gold Dragon Tournament. Lastly, to reinforce a weapon, it costs clear cubes and lots of gold. Okay, now let's talk about gearing, but before that, one thing we need to do before we actually start doing some dungeon. Um, some of the class, well, most of class do not inflict element damage. So we need to activate cube contract and apply element. If your class do not inflict element damage and you do not have a cube contract activate, that means you are losing out a lot of damage. So make sure you activate the cube contract before you go into any dungeon. All right. Now, talking about the gearing, once you reach level 100, the first thing you need to do is farm for a unique key from a Ghent Palace. Farming for a full unique gear doesn't take that long. It takes about one or two days. You can also purchase uniques from Lindsay by using the North Peace token that you got from the Ghent Palace. Also, with remaining token, you can purchase a card album. You can either sell the card for a gold or use it for yourself. When you are done farming full Ghent unique Yi, you can move on to do 5 plus 5 for legendary Yi. I suggest you to do normal first and as you gear up, move on to do expert. Okay, so similar to Gant Palace, um, you can use Extinction Crystal to buy Legendary Geese. And with the remaining, so like after you finish your full Legendary Gee, you can buy the card album, open it, and then get the card. You can sell the card for gold or use it for yourself. After getting full Legendary set, the next place to farm for an epic gear, we go 2 plus 2. With a full legendary gear, it's going to be a challenge to clear expert. Start from normal or party with other players to clear expert. Now, let's talk about buff announcement set. To get to this place, you need to clear a quest. Simple, just talk to this lady. Fragmented Abyss set can be farmed in Operation Hop. Having a buff swap is essential for an end game contents. So make sure you farm this dungeon 3 times per week. People often ask whether they should go warped or encroached for their sub equipment. I suggest you guys to get encroached because it gives higher level to your buff skill. Warped is for a player who's willing to invest a lot. It will be stronger than any other sets once you purchase all that Platinum Emblem. But Platinum Emblems can be very expensive depending on the class you play. There is other place you need to farm. It is in a special channel called the Oculus. You can check out my Oculus Guide video to learn the gimmicks. You can choose to do Guide Mode or Normal Party with others. Oculus can be done with full Legendary Geese, but you will have hard time to get into a party. People expect you to have full epic geese. From Oculus, you have chance to get epic and a mythic. You can also get 
legendary cars or unique cars to sell or you can actually use them as well. And most importantly, you get a Grim Seeker's Dark Souls, which can be used to complete a quest to obtain what we nicknamed as Ditto Epic. You can exchange this into any epic piece you want, except for upgrade epic keys. You can enter Oculus three times per week, but can only get rewards twice per week. With the remaining Grim Seeker Soul, you can purchase a random epic pot. Also, you get a black crystal when you clear. Oh, and Time Guide Stones. You can use those Time Guide Stones to do the Guide of Wisdom, and with the black crystals, black crystals can be used to open a random epic pot again. Uh, you can purchase that from Dorsey in the chest town or you can save them up and use that to upgrade super table armor or prey accessories and sub equipment okay and there's other content that you can do it's called panda war well pandemonium war from this place you can farm a talisman that will change or improve your skills it's kind of similar to Oculus, you can do it 3 times per week but can only claim the reward twice per week. For Pandemonium World, you just need a Legendary Gear again, but um, um, yeah, I'm not going to briefly go into this because it's really kind of old dungeon and with the level 100 cap it's just too easy to clear. Um, you can even try the guide mode if you like. Well, I guess to learn, you start with the guide mode. A few moments later. Okay guys, the last thing I want to tell you guys is about the enchantments. Enchantment is very important. If you don't have any enchantment, um, people are pretty much not going to take you into any Oculus or definitely the raids. Yeah, they're not gonna take you to the raid. So, to enchant your character, let's have a look. If you are a physical damage character, obviously you're going to enchant the physical damage on your top. So physical attack plus 70 plus the strength as well. And pants. And well, for you guys, do not get that 70. Of course, it's too expensive. It's like, oh, yeah, I think it's about 100 mil each. So it's 200 mil right there. Yeah. So. Um, just get like really cheap card. There's like a 45 or 50. Um, I think it's called Celebrant Arak. Yeah, so this guy is like 45, but once you upgrade it, it will be 50. Um, it's gone quite expensive for some reason. Maybe you guys shouldn't buy this. So full upgrade is about 3.5 mil right now, but there are like cheaper cards. So you can even enchanted like a rare ones um, where do you go yeah he you go rare so yeah there's a card dictionary you can actually have a look and pretty much search for a card that you need yeah there's a lot of rare there's like giant nugo uh, there's mateka for magical attack so Nugo is physical, Mateka is uh, magical. There's a Abyss Medal. Medal is actually a really good, good card. Um, there's, of course, there's like a Harbard. But these might be too expensive. Maybe Action might be a good card for you guys. Yeah, yeah it's quite cheap. If you want cheaper than this, I guess it's the Ghent Palace. So you get like the earring for 50 um, Belt and shoes, no Oh, there's a magic stone That's a good card Hound Cyrus 12 element for magic stone So that's definitely something to go for Oh, this this one's not bad actually. So magical is a Grim Seeker fighter Which is like 25 You upgrade it, it will be 30 So definitely get something like that uh, and cane, of course. Cane is for the head and shoulder. That's for the physical crit chance there. And for belt and shoes, you can buy a noble sky bead. Noble sky beads are pretty damn good. You 
search for Noble Sky, so 5% on Belt and Shoes. It's important to max your critical to 100% as well. You can use yeah, the bead 5%, 5%, and 10% here, so that's 20%. And for your avatars, of course, you can put like emblems like 3% critical. Yeah. So once you reach 100% critical, each time you attack, it will be a crit instead of just normal attack. Um, and as for the accessory, it's very important. Um, you need to go for the element, wh whatever the element that you are going for. I go for the plus 30 shadows. But it's, again, it's quite expensive to get something like that. So just go for something cheap. You can get like 20 or there's an 18 plus element damage. Um, I th also, you can search. This thing's quite useful. There you go there. And then you can have a look. There's like... Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, this one. Officer Mercer? Mercy? Marcel? Again, it's from the Gantt Palace. So if you do Gantt Palace every day and then save that Norse Meyer token, Norse Peace token, Northern Peace token, whatever the token is, you you use that um, and yeah, it's going to randomly give you the Gantt Palace rare cards and you can use that to enchant on your uh, legendary gi or above. I don't suggest you to, well I guess you can put it on your unique as well, but getting legendary gi doesn't take that long so <laughs> I, I say do not enchant on your unique gi. Um, as for the weapon, you can put element damage. You get like Columbus for plus 12 water. Um, Omega Guardian is like plus 12 light damage. Kuga is plus 12 shadow damage. And of course you have Mumbo Elki plus 10 element damage. So these are, well there's one more actually, I forgot the fire plus 12 fire yeah, so use these for your weapon enchant they're not that expensive as well and your yeah your set oh and your sub equipment there's a there's a, a rare card that's actually really useful okay yeah for physical attack I'll suggest you to enchant this one and for magic attack, it will be plus 34 magic attack. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And once you enchant everything on your gi, you shouldn't have a problem getting into any party. Okay, last, last, really, last bit. Whoa, that's really long video. Okay, so the last thing we need to do, um, pretty much you are ready to do the raid now because you enchanted everything you have full legendary geese you reinforced wear weapon you have buff enhancement yeah let's go to the raid so we got a fiend war and prey for the people who only has a legendary gi you can only do fiend war and a prey uh, so fiend war will give you super table armor well it gives you antimatter particles and you can use those antimatter particles to upgrade your Tabor's armor which you can obtain from doing a Tabor's run you just, go to, you just gotta go Tabor's and um, it's like a weekly mission again I think it's twice per week and you get like this Sky Fragment material and with Sky Fragment material you buy the Tabor's armor and with antimatter particle you, you get from Fiend War, you upgrade that into Super Tay. And Super Tay, you need the reason why you need Super Tay is that you use a Black Crystal to upgrade Super Tay into Level 100 Epic E. So it's like a you know, climb up the stairs, one by one, step by step. So Fiend War and Prey. From prey, you get the prey accessories and sub equipment. Those two can also be upgraded into level 100. Um, Elementist accessory and 
synchro sub equipment. So once, let's say, once you farm all those things, you get super tight into level 100 armor, which is the mother nature, and the prey accessories into the elementist, whatever the set, I don't know the true name, um, and the sub equipment into synchro. So now you have full epic gears. That means you can move on to do Sirocco raid. Getting that level 100 gear is good, but the main reason why you farm the raid is because of this undaunted determination. You can buy the epic souls with 100 point, and so you can pretty much buy 40 per week. So with those 40 epic souls, you can convert that into time guide stone, and you can do more guide of wisdom. So these are the things you need to do and you need to know about the game. Once you've managed to fully gear up level 100 epic gear, you can start Shiroko Raid as I mentioned before and Exile Mountain as well. Okay, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Hope this video helps you. And, and if you have uh, more questions about the game, leave a comment or find me on Twitch.